Hi there, it's Calc here, and in this video we're going to look at one of the key features of the brand new 2.5 firmware update for the Base Station 2. We're going to take a look at the all new Paraphonic mode. The Paraphonic mode really opens up the possibility of creating completely new styles of music with the Base Station 2. Let's take a look at how that works. Paraphonic basically means that we can use the two oscillators separately and track them across separate keys on the keyboard. In a mono synth situation, if I have both oscillators turned up, both are tracking the keyboard together. Of course, I can detune them as you would normally be able to do, but they will always work in the same relationship. They will always move together. To turn paraphonic mode on, we press function and then this D key here underneath where it says oscillator one and two sync. If you tap that twice, you'll open up the par uh, paraphonic mode window. You can see here it's set to zero, which it means it's turned off. But if I switch this on, now when I play two notes on the synth, We have the ability to separate the two oscillators and play them individually. It's a paraphonic mode because both oscillators, even though they're played separately, are both being passed through the single filter and the single amplifier. So they will always need to sound together. But it does mean that we can get some very interesting harmonies and musical interactions by using it. I can also use the latch button to hold on a paraphonic chord. So if I press these two notes, these will now be latched. And this is a great way to access then the rest of the parameters of the synthesizer. We'll add a little reverb and let's see how the paraphonic mode will sound. I can also use the octave buttons to separate the range of control. For example, I'll press a low B flat here and then move up an octave and add an extra higher note. Another really interesting way to use paraphonic mode is using the ring modulation in the bass station. This can open up some really interesting combinations of the oscillators working together. And using the ring modulation, we can get some very strange interactions of the sound. Using the ring modulation will get more of a timbre change to the sound rather than a pitch, but it's still a very interesting way of working. 
So that was a good look at one of the key brand new features that we've added to the Base Station 2 in the 2.5 firmware update. Thanks very much for watching.